your eyes, people. Mark it to fix it and strip it. I don't think it's John C and HT21, is it? But before I do anything to them, looking at the stags on there, we start to figure out. But, we'll see. I'll put a compression test on it. We'll see what the compression is like first, and then we'll test for a spark. See what happens. Got about seventy-six. Is it more than a bit? Yeah, we're around about eighty feet so I said. So we'll drop that. So I'll back in a box, keep it safe. And I want to also check for a spark. Oh, yeah, for that. Now, for some reason, I can't find a spark. That's Spanish. So I'm having to use more bits. Tell you. Not all day, but all day. Yeah, we've got a spark. And a gadget that. So, what we'll do is we'll get a carb on. Um, I'll stick it through a carb cleaner. Um, Looking at them, made me start if he has. You see the rust there. there. These screws are rusty, everything's rusty. But it's got compression, it's got spark, so. Well, let's clean them and talk to you, boy. Right, you just get a pedal plate. Right. Carver for some talk. No, it's not talk, it's that. We don't all of it. Have to do with a bit of a clue. Let's see if I've got any new ones. Back. 
Well, carbs off. But if you can see in there. In the, in the, Pistons in mint condition. So, it was looked after when I used it. Uh, we put the carb in there. A few of the things we put that down. Um, I can't find a little ball, so it's not ideal, but it will do for now. Just so I can test it. So, we'll get this stripped and put it in the uh, Put in the ultrasonic and we'll see how it's if it's <laughs> right. Whenever I do anybody's machines, I always clean them up. Um, so this is going to get a good scrubbing. I think I'm going to repaint that, um, and I'm even going to put a wire brush over him. Get the rust off this lot. Look like stick some in that hole. Last thing you want is crack getting in there. I have got a, um, a compressor, um, but it's not down here at the moment. It's um, still in Scarborough. Um, but it will be here by um, Saturday at the latest. I think sometimes when you do something to the machine, if you clean it off, that will look at it and go, wow, looks like Dale bought it. So, I'll crack on doing this. And um, while we're waiting for the Sonic cleaner to finish with that carb. Fuel lines go into the back of the handle because the petrol tank is part of the handle on this one. So they're well old. I've undone these nuts very carefully. So that comes off. So there's the fuel lines. Now, that's the return one. So look what we've got here. Some fuel line in there. Let me just go and get some more fuel lines. Right, what I've had to do is bore that hole out slightly bigger because trust me, I've got every size fuel line you can name. So I've bored the hole out a bit more. And that is a nice tight fit now. It's only the overflow. I'll leave that one there for now. now this one is the one we're going to do. That's quite a loose fit actually. Stick a new filter in it just to be on the safe side. Yep. Right, I'm going to get a new filter. Right, the fuel lines are in. That was a pain, I had to bore both holes out slightly. Filter's on. Just pull that to this. Just want it at the bottom of the tank down here. Oh. 
quite benefit. Um, let's put that back on. Right, we have to put the uh, trigger back on there. Because I've made them quite figure, I'm going to have to make this whole figure, so I'll crack on with that. Right, we've got the gasket back on there, these are through. You're right. Not too bad yourself. Yeah, it's just a bit. Do these up all turn if you don't tighten one up and then the other because you'll ruin it. Okay. Right, I'm going to see if we can fire them up. Before I put that on, it's going to be a lot going there. Oh well, let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, 
ワクチージョンプです。いや、本当もなくて、頭の下が。怖いね、もんもんしゃあぶれですね、ワクチージョンプです。ワクチGood diagonal at them because if you tore them one up too much, it's not good. Quite a few mistakes on this one, but we're getting there. It's because I've got all my, I decided to do it outside, and all my tools are in the bedroom. Uh, a couple of people mentioned that the sound in there is a bit uh, muffled it's because there's nothing in there carpet wise or curtains so I thought it's a nice day, I might as well come out there and do it that's why I've been popping backwards and forwards to uh, get my tools right, I'll get some fuel mixed up Get a new plug, we'll get that in there. Time on this part. We're it. I don't know if some of you don't like these plugs, but I want them off me, <laughs> man. So I'm going to use them. <laughs> Try not to cross ready while I'm at it, no. <laughs>
start and need a car clean tune. Um, so I'll get on with that. But, but I didn't know, to be fair, I didn't know much about it for a minute. Um, at least they're nice and clean there. Um, just try that again. That should sort that problem. I mean, a car tune. That should sort that problem. So now I know they're working, I'm going to take all this lot off um, and give this a coat of paint. And just give this lot a clean as well while I'm at it. And the customer should be very happy with them. Well, folks, there you have it. Uh, sorry about having to keep going backwards and forwards but because people are commenting on how the sound sounded in the bedroom I thought I'd just do it out of here because like I said it's a nice track so I have to keep popping backwards and forwards uh, and I'm getting I'm getting there you know, right, the vortex signs in I will sort some of that soon I'm hoping to get a shed to put in there uh, that's in the future but we'll see but uh, I'm going to crack on I'm going to clean these now and paint that bottom and then I'm going to give them back to the customer it should be pretty close because I'm sure they haven't been started for years. So, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like, and subscribe if you fancy. But thanks for watching. Ciao.